Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Paul Reed. I'm a professional photographer. My main love is monochrome photography. That could be street photography, fine art photography, documentary photography, you name it. If it's monochrome, I love it. I do love colour too, but my main passion is monochrome photography. So I'm just back from doing some workshops in both London and Glasgow and I just had an absolutely amazing time doing those workshops. They were for just groups of six people. I like to keep those groups kind of small just so that everybody gets the, you know, the attention that they deserve. And we just had just some amazing days out. I also did um, one for a father and daughter in Glasgow, which was just a great thing to see a father and daughter pursuing the passion of photography together. I'm gonna to be showing some photographs that I took during those workshops just a little bit later on, all taken with the Leica Q2 monochrome, no surprise there. But what I wanted to talk about was really during one of those workshops that I did, there was a lady that said to me, she said that she didn't deserve a Leica or she didn't think she deserved a Leica. She thought she wasn't good enough to use a Leica camera. There's a lot of hate out there towards Leica. You'll see often lots of videos out there saying, a Leica isn't going to make you a better photographer, all of that sort of thing. Now, I don't know, sometimes I find this a little bit condescending me owning a Leica because we, we know that it's not gonna make us a better photographer. We're using a Leica camera because, well, for many reasons, but one of the reasons is the build quality and they're just so great to hold and it's just an amazing piece of kit to hold, it's desirable. We don't need a Leica, nobody needs a Leica. We want a Leica because there's such a beautiful piece of kit to use. This lady saying to me that she didn't think that she deserved a Leica camera really took me back to whenever I first purchased a Leica. And it, you know, it wasn't really that long ago and it was the first Leica Q. I was a little bit embarrassed to be carrying that camera about at the time. I thought also that I wasn't a good enough photographer to be using a Leica camera and or like I was showing off, I was being a snob or anything like that. It just, it felt like I was carrying a piece of jewelry around with me to say, hey, look at me, I've got a Leica camera. I kind of felt like I wasn't good enough to be using a Leica. Now looking back, this is an absolutely ridiculous thing to think because there's lots and lots of Leica users out there that aren't great photographers, but that doesn't mean to say that we should look down on them at all for owning a Leica. They're using a Leica in the same way that they might have a nice car or they might have a nice bike or they're using that camera because they just really love using that camera. They've got the money to spend on it. But it may shock you in knowing that a lot of Leica users aren't rich. They're not really, really well off. That one thing that they've got that costs a lot of money could sometimes just be a nice Leica camera. And it's something that they use every day. I don't think you can look down on somebody for doing that, for for enjoying using something that they've bought. Yes, the the prices are you know really high, but the build quality of Leica cameras is just phenomenal. And you know, I I really do love my Leica Q2 monochrome. It's it's just such a pleasure to use. But it's not just that with this particular camera. There is a magic that I get from the lens and sensor combination with the monochrome sensor and this 28 millimeter summer Lux. So it isn't just for me about the build quality and how great it feels and it does feel great to, you know, to use this camera. It's also about the image quality and Look, the, all cameras these days have a great image quality, but it's more this lens and camera combination just seems to have some kind of magic that I cannot get from other cameras. And I've got other cameras. I've got Fuji, I've got a Nikon, or Nikon, as you Americans like to call it. 
but this particular camera and lens combination with the monochrome sensor and this 28 millimeter summer lux it's just magic if you want to buy a like a camera and you just think oh no i'm just not good enough to be using a leica then you know put those thoughts away nobody deserves to be using a leica any more than anybody else doesn't matter if you're the best photographer in the world or you're the worst photographer in the world if you enjoy photography and you want something that feels good to you to go out and use every day then by all means buy a leica you do deserve a leica I'm going to show you some images now from the last workshops that I did. The, that was the one in Glasgow and the one in London. So we just had an absolutely amazing time on these photo walks and I'd love you to be there if possible on the next ones. I'm going to throw some dates up now just so that you can see those. I'll move to the side and maybe I'll be able to put them there somewhere. So half of these spaces are already pretty much gone already. By the time this video goes out, all of the spaces could be gone. I only take on six people per workshop. So it would be good if somebody from the, the YouTube community got to come along because I put these dates out on Instagram and a lot of the dates got booked up straight away. But I'd love to see you on either one of the London ones or on the Glasgow one. They're both fantastic photo walks to go on. I'll take you to some of my favorite places which I go to and show lots of things. again for watching everybody i really hope you enjoyed those photos i hope they inspire you to go out and take photographs that's the whole point in this channel really is just to inspire you to go out and make art don't forget subscribe like comment come along on one of those workshops